Dirty Bandito Productions. What's going on YouTube? I haven't posted a video in a while, but I'm posting one today because it's that time of year. I live in North Texas and it's late January, early February, which means we get our annual minor little snowstorm and they shut the highways down for a week and no one goes to work and the economy stops as we know it. And if you know anything about Texas the last couple years, grid's probably going to go down, power's probably going to go out. And uh, I keep getting texts today from my cable company and from the power company saying they expect power to go out. So I have procured a way to avoid these issues. I did the sensible thing and went to the best quality components you can get at Harbor Freight. And I bought a generator, 6500 watt gas generator that there's plenty of by the way if you're watching this video today or whenever I post it they seem to be uh, in good stock so if you need one check it out uh, I'll be putting it together testing it out the reason I like these uh, I mean I know it's Harbor Freight haha jokes and everything but I know my dad's used a lot of these as backups he runs a special events company and he runs a lot of his equipment off generators because everything's mobile and he uses a lot of Harbor Freight stuff because it's if we need an extra generator or whatever, Harbor Freight's usually somewhere near uh, a venue we go to. And the Harbor Freight generators are what they are, but they work. Um, we haven't had a lot of issues with them, put a bunch of hours on them. I know the guys have ran them low on oil and poor maintenance, everything like that, and they still work. So yeah, they might be cheap, yeah, they might be Harbor Freight, but I know they work. Hopefully, where I live, I shouldn't need this thing more than you know, one or two times a year. Hopefully, not at all a year, but um, probably around here, you're gonna need it at least once or so every now and then. So I'm gonna go take it apart, put it together, show you guys how to do it, and also learn, because I don't think I've actually put one of these together. Someone has already done it for me every time I've used one. So I'll be doing that for the first time with you guys. And uh, we'll be doing a test run out there. I already got oil and everything I should need, got some fuel, so. We'll go do that and uh, fire up because right now it is 28 degrees. It's It was sleeting out earlier. There's ice all over the roads. I might post a picture, a screenshot on here of the map of Dallas right now where they have shut down highways. The high, main highway I live off of shut down. Uh, main highways going through Dallas right now are shut down and if you click on Google Maps and you click on the road closure it says road closed until February 2nd. Today's January 31st so they're shutting down highways for two three days because of you know a quarter inch of ice so we don't we don't take care of our roads down here guys. They, while I was on the road earlier they didn't even put sand or ice or anything so is what it is and, uh, and then the, the power grid's faulty as well so anyways let's get in the garage cut the box open put it together all right guys here it is still got it in the box uh, i'll run over a couple things it says on here uh this is by the way this is a 6500 starting watts 5500 running watts that says up top in the right corner 14 hours runtime i saw that's at half capacity so 2750 running watts which isn't really a whole lot so probably not gonna last that long all right moving down here we got a 301 cc engine we got heavy duty 1.25 inch steel frame uh, I was going to say low oil indicator, shutdown, vibration dampening, foot pads, wheel kit available for maximum portability, sold separately. Well, I didn't realize that, guys, so I'm going to have to go to Harbor Freight and get some damn wheels on this thing. So we're learning as we go, but it's a good thing for me. I got a Harbor Freight about a quarter mile from my house. So, oh, and say hi to Diesel there. Diesel, say hi to the camera. I don't know. He's... He's on the hunt, hunt for a camera. All right, so, all right, I should have read that. Wheel and handle, here we go, people, here we go. This is why reading is fundamental. Wheel and handle kit sold separately. And handle, so not only does it not have wheels 
also doesn't have a handle, so unless I can pick this damn thing up, which I don't believe I can, we're going to have to get some wheels on this bad boy. So, let's start tearing it down, put it together, and uh, I'm going to have to go get some wheels, guys. A hundred and ten percent bigger wheels. Bigger than what? All right, got literally the last one. This is the 10 inch heavy duty generator wheel kit. Says fits 4,000 to 9,000 watt, so we're right there. Dead center. Uh, well, let's get it installed. All right, guys, because this part's, uh, I got this camera on a tripod and I can't really get a good angle to kind of show you guys this kind of common sense. But right here in the rear, this is, I guess, the front, we'll call it for this video. Here is uh, what right in front of you. That would be the front. And the rear is where the wheels go. You can see the holes here. That's where the handles go right there. Wheels go there. Pretty much common sense stuff so here you have a wheel here you have this double stud thing they have provided and up oh, the other way nope had it right the first time run it through the other way so basically this only goes one way or this part of the stud sticks out that's the outside of the wheel obviously if you look at it it's the, I guess, spokes, we'll call them, are closed, backside, open. Pretty common sense stuff. I'm not really sure any of you need to see any of this, but goes on like that. Comes with two different size nuts. So, you know, again, common sense, guys. Now we're gonna put on these little feet it's got here. Two of these, they will obviously go in the front. All right, this here requires no nuts, just threaded bolt, that's it. All right guys, I just tightened everything up. Uh, it's pretty simple. Handle uses a little 10 millimeter in the front. And then those uh, little, little double stud thing they got for the wheels was a, let's check, 17. 17 on the big side and a 14 on the other side. So you'll need a 10, a 14, and a 17 to get that all tightened up. And it's uh, pretty easy. So let's move on. All right, so next we're gonna put oil in it. Probably gonna regret doing this in the garage and not outside. I don't have pig mats. So um, we're gonna put uh, five, uh, five W30 in here. There it is, now it's focused. All right, we're gonna put 530 in there, and that's just because, uh, by the way, that's the only oil they had. Um, I don't think you have to have full synthetic in there, but that's that's what they had today, so, uh, or yesterday, rather. Uh, we're gonna put 530 in there. It calls for 1030, but it says in the manual if it's uh, for cooler weather to use 530. Uh, primarily, this thing will only be used in cool weather. I don't really see myself using it much in warm weather. Um, I did notice, and I'll show you in a minute on the side, there's a placard that says to run it every three months and all that stuff, uh, just to make sure everything's functioning right or it voids your warranty. Also, um, I think you're supposed to run this for 20 hours with this oil before you change the oil. 
So I'll have to go over all the maintenance stuff. I'm probably not going to do that in this video, but I might make future videos with this generator where I'm doing some maintenance stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff or want to know that or see it or whatever, just like and subscribe because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to it where I change the oil and uh, drain the carburetor, things like that. So uh, that'll be in uh, future videos. But for now, let's put oil in this. Then I'm going to move it to the backyard where I'm going to add the fuel because I'm definitely not going to do that in here. And uh, we'll get her fired up. Okay, so I didn't actually see the specs in the, in the owner's manual, but I saw, I read some specs online for this particular unit. It says it takes 1.16 quarts of oil. But let me show you. So you can see there the oil is already on the threads where the, where the dipstick threads in. And that's one quart of oil. So that's pretty good. I, I mean, I might add just a a little bit more but you're probably good with just that so I'm gonna just because I'm OCD I'm gonna add a little bit more but I think you'd be good with just one quart if you had to all right now that we got a nicer backdrop I'm gonna just kind of film this thing and uh, show you the controls so in a minute what you'll see me do is uh, I'm gonna put the choke well first I'm gonna turn the fuel on so the little, you know, the little picture right here to turn the fuel on right now it's off there it's on put it back off this is the choke this is kind of a flimsy lever but you know you start it and start obviously and then you kind of slowly have it go into run yeah it's kind of feels flimsy so I think it says to go slow probably more for the fact that you'll break this than anything there's the dog and his uh it costume trying to find some clowns to take him down the gutter <laughs> or not the gutter the uh sewer sorry all right let's uh i'm gonna walk over to this side and just look at some of these controls and stuff everything i still got all the stuff on i hadn't messed with it at all um there's your on off switch which is probably gonna be a difficult click system due to the fact that it's waterproof and everything so um, yeah we'll move back over to the fuel in a minute there's all your plugs and stuff oh look at that you hook up your dryer right there so that's cool all right because yeah, having a 240 is pretty important for certain things but for what i'm going to use i'm just going to use the the 120s so all right, let's uh, get some gas in this thing and get it fired up. only wanted to fill it up about halfway I'm starting to notice that my my uh, full uh, my tank indicator is not working it I know I put at least at least two gallons in there two or three and it it just looks white the whole time so kind of maybe that'll change when I try to turn it on or something so we'll check that out okay so one thing I didn't point out is that on off switch right there needs to be in the on position for this or at least that's what it says so I have that in the on position before I start this up it also says not to run it with I think you're supposed to run with any loads at all for like the first 15 minutes or so so or maybe or light loads or half loads something like that but for the first 15 20 minutes i'm not going to run it with any load i'm just basically testing it right now we still have power everything's still good so i'm not sure we're going to lose power but it happened a couple years ago for about three days so i don't want it to happen again so uh all right let's get this thing fired up now
all right so i actually figured out this fuel tank thing turns out you have to have at least four gallons of fuel in here for this to even show a little bit so i just didn't have any fuel in there but like i said i'm pretty sure it was two and a half uh if it's 2.8 i'm perfectly fine with that uh this is the placard i want to show you guys earlier part of maintenance come on focus it says you must run every 15 to 20 minutes every three months add fuel stabilizer clean air filter regularly or voids warranty so basically i um added about an ounce of fuel stabilizer in here and i put two and a half gallons so it should be good if i need to run it more uh, if our power goes out i'll add more fuel and i'll also add more stabilizer um possibly if i'm and end up running through that fuel if it's going to be out for a while then i'll add stabilizer to the next one but for right now it's basically set up to be stored away so uh yeah that's pretty much it uh, i haven't done any of the maintenance stuff because if uh or when that time comes i'll make another video i did notice this wheel was not tightened down all the way so i'll have to tighten that down later uh, we'll start to shut this fuel off and uh i guess we'll push this back over to the start since we're gonna have it off for a while man that just doesn't really feel smooth when, it, when you move it um other than that everything went well everything seems to be in working order so we will conclude that video for today. I hope this was beneficial for you guys. Uh, I plan on doing more videos. I, I know I hadn't made any videos in a while. Kind of wasn't sure where I was going with this channel to begin with. Not to begin with, but uh, as of recently, I've kind of concerned about doing certain things. I know I started doing a lot of tobacco videos on here and YouTube doesn't like that stuff and posted some type of you know pew pew type stuff and had to delete that because you know uh youtube's getting onto that stuff too so i'm probably going to stick more to the the prepper type stuff that i'm that i'm into and the and the gear stuff like that so if you're like any kind of stuff like that make sure to like and subscribe because i'm going to be posting more stuff like that so uh, until next time guys